Well, me and Ducky decided, oh come on Ducky, sit still. Decided that we are going to take the tigers to the other side because we have to take that water out of the pool. So Ducky just had a lot of flies on that chicken that is left over from last night. But we are gonna have to give it to them later. Because we're gonna take them to the other side and I'm first gonna put Ducky away. Because I'm not gonna leave him roaming around here alone. I mean, he's only uh, two or three weeks old. But the tigers are going that side. I'm gonna feed them that side. I'm gonna close them up quickly. And then we're gonna clean up that pool of them. All the stuff is ready. Right, let me make my move to that side. Ducky. No, I'm not taking you in there with me now to close them up. I'm taking you upstairs. I'll get them there on my own. Yeah, let me do that. Okay, if this cat knew how hard I just worked, he would not be lying like this, just taking a nice nap. <laughs> God, can you believe it? But yeah, all the little ones, just look at that. They are so beautiful. <laughs> Hope and Bucky. Ah, oh, the dogs are terrible. They just want to try and get something to eat. That is what it's all about for them. They stick around. They find things to eat all the time. But, whoa. If they knew how hard I just worked to get this whole place cleaned up. Pool. Well, yeah, it was a blue pool. So... <laughs> but I have to say, I can see how the sun has taken its toll on the pool coat that is in that pool. That is basically the layer where the water lies on. But uh, I'm going to have to redo that pool at some point. There is a few places where the sun has actually cracked the pool coat. And I don't know if you guys remember when the Diego helped me to remove the fiberglass out of that pool and then I had to re-fiberglass and then reapply the pool coat but it's okay it lasted a few years I can still remember it was a big job it took me a couple of weeks but we got it done and uh, I'm gonna have to redo it at some point but if I say at some point I mean within the next two years maybe but I'm gonna let the boys back in Everything is clean. It is not as big a job as you might think if you have to take it time-wise. Like, I cleaned up the whole enclosure in probably three hours or two weeks. Half a month. Let's, let's, say, let's say six hours a month it'll take you to clean it up and that includes cleaning out the pool which is the biggest job but while that is happening you do all the rest of the stuff but yeah it's done cut us don't go in there and uh, i'm gonna let the boys back in and uh, i don't know guys we've still got these cumulus and cumulus nimbus clouds in the sky you add the nimbus when it is a little dark and uh, then you know it can easily become a thunderstorm if it makes that anvil at the top vertical development then you know it can become a thunderstorm but right now I'm only thinking it's gonna rain and like I said before we've never had this much rain in this part of South Africa, I think in any part of South Africa, for as long as I know. And uh, I think it's going to rain a little later. I want to put new water in that pool, but it doesn't work with the rainwater. That rainwater just turns green whenever the sunlight hits it. And we get a lot of sunlight. It's, don't get me wrong, I'm not complaining. This is great weather. This is amazing weather. It is not too hot, it's not too cold, it is just perfect. But some organisms also love living in perfect conditions. <laughs> but in any case, I'm done. Let me open up for the boys. Okay, so on the Porsche, I want to move the wheels inwards a little bit. Yeah, 
they are a bit wide and they are touching this part right in there so I removed what we call the adapter plate where that bolts onto and then it bolts onto the wheel and I'm going to cut a little bit off it about five to ten millimeters I'll see what I decide so yeah I'm busy with it already I just quickly ran out here because I left my vernier somewhere and I need to get it to measure it exactly so let me get back it seems like it's not over here but I'm busy doing the job already be done in an hour When monkeys see someone coming to visit, this is what they do. <laughs> yeah, this is happiness. If you are having trouble translating that screen. <laughs> MacGyver, are you happy? <laughs> okay, and it is the end of the day. What do I do then? Well, it's feeding the tiger's time. I see Diego is still not really hungry. I think I've been overfeeding him. Come on, Diego. Come and have something to eat. So, here you go, Enzo. And keep in mind, Enzo had three chickens this morning. And he still ate. Diego, nothing. Come on, Diego. There you go. Go get it. Go get it. Come down this side and go around. Oh, go get it. At last. Okay, and another one for Enzo. Seems like Diego wants to eat way at the back there. Gonna have to move. And then I'm gonna give Diego a nice big one. That's the one I'm talking about. Okay, now just giving some more to the cats. And then I am done. Well guys, that is it. Tigers are fed. Now I'm going to go feed the dogs after this. And then I have got some time to rest. Thanks for watching. Like always, have a great day.